going on guys? So it's Saturday morning and I'm heading back to the spot I did a toss on Thursday. It's um, it's about five and a half miles. Uh, it's a big campus, so depending on where you are, it's either between like five to almost six miles. I kind of picked right in the middle because there's a big, uh, uh, two big retention ponds you can launch right behind and then they get a, a pretty good runway away from everything. But uh, I went Thursday morning, I, I took off from work to have, uh, we had uh, the water meter changed in our house, so I stayed home for that, and I went early. Uh, I did, I, went, I got there about 6.15, but there was, uh, it was, it was patchy fog, so I waited till 7, and uh, most of the fog cleared out, but, um, you know, I can only see where I am, and you know, kind of towards the, you know, the direction of home, it looked okay, a little hazy towards home, but not too bad, and, uh, so I released the birds at seven, and I got home, and driving home, the fog was actually worse than when I left, uh, it must have settled in some areas, so the birds had a bit of, a bit unfavorable conditions, they had to deal with some fog, a bit of adversity, and this is probably the real challenge they've faced, other than a hawk. But um, they did. They did pretty good. Um, I had one bird that beat the rest of them home by 30 minutes. Uh, one of my white hens. I was shocked by that. And when I only had one bird, and it was her, who she's usually always late. I was. I got very nervous that the the, the fog was even worse than I thought up high, and uh, the birds are gone. But. Um, about a half an hour after she came, I got, you know, over 20 of my birds came back together. And then uh, a couple more trickled in a little later on. So they must have broken up in the fog, but uh, a, a decent group stayed together. And then throughout the course of the day, the, the rest of the birds came back. Uh, some of the late hatches trickled in a little later on in the day. Uh, I am missing one bird, and it is uh, that white cock uh, devil bird. If you've been following along, you know he got removed from the race team at one point for being lazy and, you know, given, you know, just being detrimental to everything I was trying to do with these birds, blocking the trap door, chasing birds away from trapping, not flying, just a real pain. So I ended up putting him back with the race team a couple weeks ago and figured, uh, let me see what he can do. Let's, you know, give him one more chance. And he was doing all right. I mean, he was he was he, he was just starting to fly. He was flying with the group a little bit. He was trapping well, and uh, really was you know I really wasn't having any issues. But uh, he had never been on a toss before, so and uh, you know that's his fault. If he kind of just listened the first two months, he would have been on plenty. But I brought him with me on Thursday, and um, the last I saw them, he he was with the group. I mean, it's hard to tell. Uh, you know, because they're, they're off in the distance, um, but uh, he was with them, and it's now Saturday, and he's still not back, so could he come back today? Sure. Do I expect him to? No, but um, crazier things have happened, so all right, I'm heading to the place now, and I'm going to try not to run this deer over crossing the road, and uh, catch up to you guys in a bit. And there's the deer. All right, guys, so we're here. This is uh, Bell Works in Homedale, New Jersey. If you're from the area, you've definitely heard of it. But it's a uh, it's a tremendous campus. So that's the building back there. That building is is really far, pretty far from me too. But it's uh, it is wide open here. There's the retention pond, and then there's a road, and then another retention pond, and then like a quarter mile long field. So from me to where this down there, where the road is, is about a half a mile. So they have a half a mile of wide open here in all directions. Uh, well, except to the sides, there's a little residential area over there, houses and stuff and some low trees. But nothing crazy, no wires, nothing nothing for them to, to, to fly near. It's just straight up and that way's home. So all they got to do is go that way. On Thursday, they went that way and right into the fog. I don't know how long they were there for or went that way for, but it was longer than it needed to be. So I got them out here in the baskets. I'm just going to let them chill out for a few minutes. We just got here. I'm going to finish some of my coffee and uh, let them look around. And Oh, good. The geese are leaving. 
yeah, I think this is the first time they've heard geese before, so we'll let them recover from that too. All right, well, I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes and let them out. Cool things about this place is they have various wind flags in some places, so you can actually see what the wind's doing. And uh, there's a, a little breeze this morning, maybe four or five miles per hour from the northwest. Not, <clears throat> nothing crazy, but the, uh, the wind sock over here isn't even moving. So it, it's really light, the winds. So these, and clear, no humidity, no fog, no haze, a little bit of clouds, but the, the birds should, perfect conditions this morning. It's 69 degrees out. They should do really well. All right, guys, you ready? You're gonna do good today. Straight home. Well, this is promising. If they keep going that direction, they're gonna beat me home. All right, there they are. I just got home myself. So they made it home from six miles in about 12 minutes. They flew a mile every two minutes. So, they were, they kicked ass this morning. They must be feeling good today after yesterday's rest. They got a lot of good vitamins. Um, it doesn't appear anybody's missing. They all, they all look there. They all look together. Now they'll probably fly for a little bit longer because this was nothing for them. They're probably feeling real good today. But awesome job, awesome job by them today. Really good job. See what happens when there's no fog? So tomorrow we can go to 10 miles still flying so they've been flying laps now for over an hour they're feeling real good today well, let them burn off the energy they'll come down soon it's the first day in months with no humidity no haze no rain no nothing it's like perfect outside so they can enjoy it get some exercise everybody thanks for watching the video as always all the birds are in uh they got their morning feed and uh we have to go to a party in a little bit for my sister so i just put their baths outside and um they're gonna chill out the rest of the day they can take their baths hang out in the sun and tomorrow we are off to 10 11 miles i found a park uh further a little further than where i was today and we're gonna do that release the weather conditions tomorrow morning should be very similar to today, so hopefully they do well. But, all right, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Good luck with your birds. If you have birds, the uh, race season's right around the corner. And until uh, the next video.